John goes to the haberdashers. Today, John is going to the haberdashery shop to get some gold braid for his new silk shorts. Haberdashery is a funny word, isn't it? Can you spell haberdashery? John can't. Janet gives John the money for the gold braid and says, Be careful when you cross the road. I will, says John. John arrives at the shop and opens the door. Ding-a-ling goes the bell. Hello, John, says Mr. Brotherston. John says, Hello, and rushes over to look at all the wonderful colours of cloth and thinks how nice it would be to have lots of lovely bright clothes. John picks up some shiny gold braid and goes to pay at the counter. Mrs. Self is already at the counter. Mrs. Self is from Edinburgh. See the tattoo. <laughs> Hello, John, says Mrs. Shell. Mrs. Self. <laughs> yes. I'm still looking at it as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Self, says John. What fun. Mrs. Self is struggling with a big bag. Can I help you with that bag? Says John. Kind John. Thank you, says Mrs. Self. That's Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, for quoting Nadros. I just bought a big bag of duck feathers as I'm making some pillows. Clever Mrs. Self. I have a big floppy hat with feathers in it, says John. John is a fop and a dandy. Mrs. Self says, Duck down is the best kind of filling for pillows, much better than goose. And while John is holding the bag, Mrs. Self says, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you'd have some open weave embroidered silk at all. And Mr. Brotherston says yes and shows Mrs. Self a pretty blue cloth from the storeroom at the back of the shop. Please take the sample, says Mr. Brotherston. John gives the bag of feathers back to Mrs. Self, pays for his braid and waves goodbye. See John, skip home. When John arrives, Jan is making some pastry. Do you like pastry? John does. See the elasticated waist. Janet says, Did you get your gold braid? Yes, says John. And I saw Mrs. Self in the shop. Mrs. Self was looking for a nice organza, so Mr. Brotherton helped her out with a nice sample. And Mrs. Self asked if I would hold her down while I waited for my turn. And she said it was a really good stuffing and much better than the goose she usually gets. <laughs> Janet pick up her birthday present. Do you think that a marble rolling pin is a nice birthday present? John doesn't. See the big red lumps. <laughs>